up guys today I'm gonna to be showing you my 1997 Toyota Crown this is my daily driver enjoy All right, this is my 1997 Toyota Crown Royal Extra. Picked this car up at the Jacksonville port August of last year. Imported from Japan. It's got 85,000 kilometers, somewhere around 53,000 miles. This one comes with a 1JZ GE. It's a 2.5 liter inline six. Great engine very reliable and it's a four-speed automatic transmission definitely not a race car but it's got enough power to keep up uh, on the highway and with the uh, everyday traffic the car is sitting on JIC magic coilovers had those shipped over from Japan as well and then I found this set of 19 inch Wedge Crown Cerberus 2s. I think they are uh, appropriate for this era. So I have the car low, but just low enough to look good. Um, I still daily drive the car, so I didn't want to ruin the body by having it any lower than that. Question I always get is where did you get these seat covers? Well, these are factory. A lot of the larger sedans in Japan came with this as an option, these doily type seat covers. But you can see they say Toyota. These actually have an OEM part number. So the fit is great. So it's a completely stock 1JZ GE. You can see the engine bay is very clean. I think this car was owned by an older gentleman. Uh, pretty well maintained. So I did do the timing belt. As well as serpentine belt. And then just some general routine maintenance. The battery the fluids everything you would expect to do when you buy a 25 year old car so how about trunk space oh well, let's take a look got this nice trunk button here pretty big trunk not as big as you would expect for a full-size sedan like this but this car comes with the fuel tank up here just behind this is the fuel tank so if you ever have to do the fuel pump or fuel level sensor or anything like that it's all right behind there very easy so I put a mirror tint on this car first time using the mirror tint I'm happy with it uh, but some cool things that came on the car were the original dealer sticker from Yamaguchi Toyota and then You've got these kind of stickers. I think this is some kind of a parking parking club or a parking program. So let me show you guys some of the quirky things on the interior of this car. So it's got the uh, Japanese toll ETC.
and then I replaced the original radio with the Japanese Pioneer pretty neat it's got Apple CarPlay routed that through center console here so it's all hidden maintain a factory look and of course uh, for me CarPlay is what makes a car feel modern So one of the nice things this car for 97 had the retractable mirrors power mirrors very nice when parking tight spots for me one of the coolest and quirkiest things is the swinging center vents for the AC I love that feature another little quirky thing I did buy this myself, but it's a factory option, this trash can. So for any small trash, you know, if you got a receipt or maybe a small can of coffee or something, just toss it in there until you empty that at home. Pretty cool. Another thing that's pretty cool to me that even back in 1997 they had automatic headlights. So you flip it up there to auto and then you got your light sensors up on the dash. So when it senses that it's dark, it turns your lights on. Very similar to what a lot of modern cars have. So here's the OEM key. It does have power locks. And it came with this pretty sweet little uh, Louis Vuitton key holder. And inside it's got, I guess the previous owner's name. Pretty neat. So I still use it. I won't be getting rid of it anytime soon. So one of the things that psyched me out about this car was how well maintained it, it's been for a 25, now a 26 year old car. Look at this. It still has the plastic protectors from the factory and in, in all the door sills. All four of them have it. So cool. So 90s Japanese car, it's got ashtrays all over the place. These guys were smoking heavy. Rear seats are pretty spacious. Um, I put my baby's baby seat back here when we go out for a family cruise in this car and it fits just fine. And you still have room for another passenger on the other side and a passenger up front. It does have a center seat belt so you can seat three back here and I'll show you it's got a center armrest so this cover's got a zipper and then you can drop the armrest so here it is with the armrest down and you've got two cup holders back here and it's on that same wood trim as the rest of the car got a little cubby hole here another ashtray on the other side and all kind of ashtrays up front So here I am in the back seat, plenty of leg room, very comfortable. This is with the uh, front seat matching my driver's seat, just as far back as my driver's seat. And I'm very comfortable. One of my favorite things back here is when you put the back window down, it tilts at an angle. Uh, it doesn't go down any further for the safety feature, but you know, it kind of gives it a little bit of a mafioso style feel to it. Pretty cool. Here's another neat feature that wasn't so common back in the 90s is the automatic down for the driver's side. I don't know why they only chose one window to do that on, but hey, it's something. Here's another feature that I love, or just a detail I guess, is the wood trim on the dash. Oh, it just makes one piece across. It makes the interior look almost timeless. So let me go over the headlights with you guys. So this is your normal headlight, low beam and high beam. Then this yellow light here, that's your fog light, is actually built into the headlight. Then you got a corner lamp, but this corner lamp is not your turn signal. Turn signal is actually all the way down here. This corner lamp illuminates like a headlight for the corner whenever you turn your turn signal on. See how that just got much brighter? And now we're blinking down here all right let's take it for a spin
again guys so this is my daily driver if you guys are thinking about getting a Toyota Crown do not hesitate it's a great car you can fit your whole family in there you can drive it every day to work and back uh, it's very reliable it's not bad on gas it's got enough power for you to keep up with traffic and pass cars on the highway if you need to and overall it's an enjoyable car if you keep it on the factory suspension it's extremely smooth uh, mine has a little bit of a stiffer ride with the coilovers, but even then it still rides great Thank you guys for watching Please like and subscribe and we'll catch you next time. Thank you